Yeah. Are we live? Yeah, we are live. It says we are. Yeah. This is where we want that screen now. Just say, go yeah. brew up. Yeah. <clears throat> Countdown timer on it. So, yeah. Um, what was going on? When this goes up on YouTube. Hey, somebody's following us already. Who's that? Who is that? Mendez. Hello, good sir. You're gonna wait for some people to join in, and um, we're gonna. What we're we doing today? Doing cleaning brushes. Or yeah. Brush soap. In fact, forty <clears throat> k brush soap from billions of years ago. And it's Opus brush soap from not billions of years ago. And the. Um, I don't know, it's confident. It's probably the most confident bottle I've ever seen. It's backwards a few, obviously. It's incredible brush cleaner. Um, I'm, I was gonna say notorious, but it's not like people know me around here for being the guy that doesn't clean brushes, but um, I very rarely clean brushes. I very rarely feel the need. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I keep my brushes so moist most of the time that I uh, not a lot of paint stays in my brushes. Mm -hmm. However, there are some brushes a which would go back to their former glory. That is in a state. So, oh, I've got this worse. This is one of the better ones I've got over this. But if I can rescue the the better one up, then I've got a. You know, yeah, you could do that. Practical, yeah, yeah. practical brush, but I don't know if you guys could see it's too dark. Like it. Oh, check you out. Yeah. So this really should, so that's obviously side on. It should really be flat and go to a point like that, but obviously it doesn't. So yeah. Yeah. It's got all that dark blue, black, grey all down in the bits there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, basically, what, what's happening is, is you got your brush that's all nicely formed, and over time, pigment goes between the bristles right down at the ferrule, stopping it from forming a nice brush. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so yeah. that's how it works. So if we can get that pigment out of there, then your old busted brush will go nice again. It's probably worth saying as well, you are a very, very controlled painter. You've got really deliberate control over it. a lot of what you're doing yeah more so than other people and you can teach that to people but a lot of other people like me before i start having lessons with you do get a lot of paint down in the ferrule of their nice brush all right <laughs> well why <laughs> nice brush what's that all about who's this oh so, someone's oh. in yet yeah uh oh mike now for everyone says bought both the fugazi mark three box set and the sable mark three box set the brush soap and the water pot from Broken Toe because of the last video. Wow. Hey, Chris will wow. be well happy. I'm well happy. Again, I'm not on commission, by the way, you know, uh, or a sponsored artist, but he doesn't pay us to do any of this. No, nope, no, he doesn't. We do this just for the, for the, well, because of what? Yeah, you just what saying what we think. So, yeah. Um, what were we saying? You were saying something. I was saying about my, yeah, so my, my nice brush that I used to do try and do fine detail work with or you know, do everything right I've, I've got a, an old rosemary co size one that i paint everything with and i've done base coats and i've done highlighting mm -hmm. and because i was less precise than you've taught me to be that brush has got loads of paint in the ferrule ah, so right, got you. that that needs a that needs a clean yeah yeah do you, i'm glad you kind of know i suppose you would notice it anyway anyone who spends time with me in fact you have to be really precise and deliberate to paint at whatever level but um, yeah, I've said for years, I say it to a few students, that there's, there isn't anything I do at the painting table that is kind of accidental, if you know what I mean. If, if, if I'm doing something, I have a reason for doing it. Of course, I might knock something over, you know, these general accidents. But yeah, yeah. when it comes to an actual action that is practical within the, the, the painting journey, I literally could explain to you and um, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it how I'm doing it and break it down into mm. a, in a teachable manner. Um, so yeah, and I, 
I even apply it to myself, you know. Yeah. Like my own mm -hmm. teachings, like when I'm having a squiffy off day, which I have had, I was having one last night on that non-met leg that I was doing. Yeah. Finally clicked in on the knee. Mm -hmm. So I have to go back and fix the rest of that guy's leg. It's, it's awful. That's actually the second paint job it's had as well. As well. I mean. Yeah, so I was not happy at all. Um, but there you go. Uh, what was I saying? So yeah, I go back to my own teachings. Yeah. And I go, right, what do I tell my students to do? Da, 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 da. All right, okay, bam. So my own, my own lessons become my own learnings as well, you know. Yeah, and so I guess what, yeah, that's all good stuff. What I was getting to with, the, with my filthy brushes, I think a lot of people who haven't had lessons from you or who have had lessons from you and haven't, aren't, aren't kind of right in there at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can end up with a brush that needs, that needs a clean. Yep. Uh, and then, yeah. Maybe you'd rather clean a brush than chuck it in the bin or relegate it to your crap brush collection and fork out for a new, whatever kind of nice brush you like. On that note, relegated brushes. Mm -hmm. Last night I did relegate um, a Rosemary & Co to the bin. It was the size... What? I think it was the size one. Let me just make sure. Y yep, it was. I relegated the size one. I'd only been using it for a base coated a marine with it. I've done a couple of painting lessons with it. And what are we on? Like two weeks through? Yeah, something like that. And it just stopped forming a point, started splitting around. Um, down the center of the brush I got started getting stray hairs and part of the reason I was screwing up a lot on that model last night is uh, because I was being stubborn mm -hmm. and not changing the brush thinking that it's just me I'm not doing things right blah blah, blah. and mm -hmm. actually you know the bit where I have to be in control there is take responsibility I'm using a tool that ain't good enough for what I'm trying to do mm -hmm. and if I leave it on my table Guarantee I'll keep picking it up. So yeah. I just snapped it, off it goes. So that's what I do with brushes that that really shouldn't be around. Wow. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, no respite. Just... No, no. I, I snap them. I snap them so I can't use them. But that doesn't mean I snap every brush that 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 gets dodgy because some just get old mm -hmm. and worn down. But they still like stay usable. So they might be worn down, but. Like instead of having this nice like teardrop leaf shape, they start to kind of get this this more pointy shape. Like I, I, mm -hmm. I can still use brushes like that. I don't mind that. But if it's not doing what you expect it to do, mm, yeah, then it's got to go. So, so there's some old brushes, whether they're filled with paint, whether they're all worn down, whether they've got a point on them or not, mm -hmm. they behave predictably. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. They behave how I expect them want them choose them to behave yeah cool but if you if a brush ain't gonna do that it's gotta go it's gotta go because yeah. even for dry brushing it's shit yeah you can't have not a brush that you can't predict is no good for dry brushing yeah, yeah, yeah is yeah. it is it uh unless well there, there's a little rabbit hole to go down there <laughs> isn't there maybe we'll leave that for another yeah time. yeah there is a little rabbit hole yeah and yeah yeah we'll leave it for another time unless you really feel the urge no particularly no, no right, okay take over for another time. yeah all right i'll tell you what's interesting that you uh you decided that a rosemary co brush wasn't what you would need i was painting yesterday and i was putting it into practice from the stuff you taught me recently about um carefully loading a brush with just the right kind of consistency of paint just the right amount of it to do some really fine highlighting, the finest highlight I've probably ever done. All right. Um, that's not, you know, we're not talking anything super here. I, I just haven't I'm excited highlight. to see it. Oh, well, well. Oh, it's right there. Oh, see. well, <laughs> come on then. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, while I'm opening the box, I'll tell you the story. And I was, yeah, I was painting with, also happened to be a Rosemary Co. brush number one, Series 33. And series thirty three. Well, so that's on, the same. That's the same one that you've got over there. Twenty twos. Oh, is it? Is it twenty twos? Oh, there is a series thirty three. Yeah, these are twenty twos. These. Yeah. So have a look at the uh, the leg wraps or well, all of the. They're very nice. Wraps. Thanks, mate. 
Yeah, cool. Um, Andy's name on Instagram is Rual R U A R L. Correct. So if you want to go and look, I don't know if you've got anything on there. There's a little bit up. It's all toy soldier stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's maybe five pictures of stuff I've painted. Yeah. Yeah. So Feel free to go and have a look. Yeah, dude, they're very nice. The skin's lovely. Oh, thanks. That's really top. Just, uh, just working on that at the moment. The skin it's probably yeah, yeah, yeah. needs. Well, I'm, I'm decided if it's finished yet. I need to have another yeah. look. So you were saying about this rosemary cup? Yeah. It was behaving inconsistently. Okay. Thought I got a nice point on it, thought it was loaded right, and oh, it's a hair come out, or... Come out the side like that? Um, or is it just like the tip had just split a little bit out? Well, so yeah, so when the, the tip was splitting right, I thought it was forming a nice fine round point, and then I was, you know, maybe do do a stroke, and the, and the point's kind of gone, and the bristles are mm -hmm. offset. Um, so I'm I'm less controlled than you though, so I still need to work out if that is if there's something I'm not aware of in what I'm doing. Yeah, have you got or, the brush? Yeah, look at that. Let's have a look. I wonder if the uh, brush soap maybe will fix it because that's the one maybe thing I clean. kind of thought about today. Because last night I just got frustrated. Oh, it looks like such a nice brush as well. I can see. Yeah, I can see. There's a thing happening there. So you're starting to get what, um, so you've got that extra long centre. So so it, so so basically it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's got one, two strands just poking out the top, just essentially just kind of make, making it this shape instead of a nice oval shape. And I think it might be tricky to see on the camera. Come on, camera. Yeah, tricky to see that. Yeah. Tricky to see. But I, yeah, I see what you mean. I hadn't quite noticed that, but yeah, it is. And and also, I think, so we were looking at an old one of your Winter Newton Series 7s the other day. Yeah. And although that had a similar sort of thing where it was, where the shape was less of a teardrop, the, the top was getting, uh, the top was getting convex, right? So you kind of want a concave top, well, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Just, just ever so slightly concave and the top's getting convex. And stuff like that. Um, now, on your Winds of Newton Series 7, that was still quite smooth. Mm -hmm. Whereas this tip where that's happening is kind of rough and noisy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I can see it, especially on one side. I was going to say the left side, but the brush is around. So. <laughs> it doesn't have a left side. So whatever. I've had a rough <laughs> few days, if I'm honest, everybody. So if I'm not quite with it. So rotational symmetry, the this GCSE stuff, don't worry about it. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. Right, so, 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 yeah, on one side, it's definitely, it uh, looks really warm. Mmm. So, yeah, maybe this is, maybe this brush is, I have knackered. Yeah, should we, uh, should, I'm going to put some water in this. All right. And see if we can rescue it. This right. some, some people say cleaning it rescues it. Some people say cleaning it rescues it, is what Tommy just said as he walked out to the kitchen. Maybe you didn't hear that. So well, we've got three different brush soaps that we can try. So what we're going to try, are we going to try the, some, some hard soap first? Or uh, should we go straight in for the Chroma Incredible Brush Cleaner? Well, I mean, I suppose it's, it's not scientific approach no matter what way i mean let's just see if we can get the brush going again so let's see if we go straight in with go with the uh... oh i don't know uh, so i i know for a fact that that doesn't clean that so i'm happy for that to be the uh the litmus test for incredible brush cleaner <laughs> all right let's do that have you got an idea of what you would do to try and rescue this brush using a hard soap like that one or that one? Not really, because um, I, 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 I rarely wash brushes, although I obviously do wash brushes because uh, this is open and used, <laughs> you know. Um, but let's, let's have a play with it first, eh? Should we, should we move the camera over? Uh, yeah. yeah, why not, eh? Um, why not? Where's my other thing then? 
My boingy stand is actually broken, so it's not. You see, I've snapped the. Uh... Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah, it's not great. So the 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 transferable camera lark might not be uh, entirely appropriate. Weird thing of note there. This has been three D printed. That's interesting. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got little striations in it, but hidden away. Mm. Where the aesthetics matter less. Oh, here we go. This is a strange thing, this. And whenever I try and do it, sometimes it's really easy to do it. Then other times it's just insanely hard to lift up. And I have no clue why and what changes. Uh, could be vacuum. It's just a bit of wood on my table. Yeah, if you got. Yeah. There we go. If you've got two very smooth surfaces touching each other then yeah. there's there's going to be electrostatic force between them which right. might, might get big if they rub together uh, and yeah as you try and open them up if again if they've been pressed together or if you've been leaning on it yeah. then there'll be you there'll be a vacuum sort it's of like a bit of chipboard on a really old effing table so oh, maybe that's... i doubt it i think it's just me being a spanner Entirely probable. Right. Science. Hashtag science. Um, right. Get any old paint. Night Lord's Blue. That'll do. Night Lord's Glory. Um, right, come here, you lot. I say you lot, there's only two of y'all in. Spin you round. Bop. Put you in the clamps. Clamps, clamps. Let's put you high up. Here we are. Everything goes the right way round. I tell you what, that's feels like a nice brush, doesn't it? Straight, straight out the doodah. It's pretty good. Just bashed it on the water pot. It's been the water pot in. In the shot, should we put it in the shot there? That was far too much paint. <laughs> <laughs> um, oops, there we are. So even though I took loads of paint out, I'm just I just want to show people that you know some of the things that you said before. Mm -hmm. um, even though I took too much paint out, and I would say I was quite inaccurate, I'm still pretty accurate, and I don't get paint. Um, in places where I don't want it on the brush. Check that out. Oh. What do you think then? Well, I mean, first impressions are it feels fine. All right. But. I'm just going to paint rah, rah, rah with it and, and instead of how I normally would, which would probably be a little bit more deliberate like this. Um, so I'm trying to give it a hard time. Oh, there's the stray air. Oh, yeah. And there that is. It's showing up on camera as well. It looks like a brittle stray hair as well, and the hair is bending. Um, it's it's not just it's not just sticking out like this where the bend matches the bend of the brush. Uh -huh. It's actually going against the bend of the brush as well, which is interesting. Mm. Yeah, you would expect that not to happen at all, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but other than that air, see, so so that air, I, I just whip out. All right. I just grab it, off you go. Because the rest of the brush seems to be working all right. Now, I am just uh, doing a rough base coat with it. So, you know, what does that mean? Well, it means it's happy doing that. But let's, uh, let's fight around with something a little bit more, a little bit more finesse different consistencies and all that business 
All right, interesting. It seems all right, you know, to me. So, I wonder if then there's something in, in your behaviours that um, could change. So yeah. Let's do, yeah. Uh, let's do some highlights. Dusty old practice model. Do do do. Yeah, man. So like. That I, can, I can definitely feel that hair, as in, I, like, I, I felt it now. I, you know, I said before, it looks brittle. Yeah, yeah I felt it scratch. Oh, ah, right, okay. So, just trying to give the tip a bit of a hard time just to see what, what comes out of it. I like that brush. All right. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But here's the question. When you use it, what happens? Yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, do it. Um, I think I've eaten far too many of this bag of sweets. Are you diving back in anyway? I'm diving back in anyway. It's been a rough day, so um, it's, it's not going to get much rougher. Okie dokie. Right. It's a nice bit of water in there. Do you want one? You alright? <laughs> Amazing. Let's get a bit of that. Give it a bit of a mix. Dave the Ark. Now I oh, oh yeah, I've made the camera wiggle. Oh, I yeah, I you've think get used to the wire. Yeah. So immediately I notice that your palette behaves differently from mine. I think my MDF palette needs a bit more. Uh, let's find something to do a highlight on. Let's do that edge. Um, yeah, it needs a bit more paint on it. I think my MDF palette is kind of scratchy. Got you. Slightly scratchier end up here, by the way. Uh, I did lever a load of paint on it the other day because the spray I had um, was the end of a can came all dusty, so it's created more testing. Yeah, I remember that from last time. Well, yeah, I think... I think the palette actually has quite a lot to do with what's going on because yeah. this so if i elaborate or, on that or maybe something to do with how you've woken the brush up right are you finding it's, it's a better brush now yeah yeah, yeah compared right. to when i did what i thought was the same thing right get it nice and wet get it uh yeah just a bit of paint mix it mix it all up is it a 32 like as well a 33 it's a 33 right so was your yeah are the ones that you've They're got 22, 22. Yeah. Uh, okay i can't remember what the difference is no but i'll tell you one thing having used the uh 22s for some time this week consistently only use me rosemary and co um the first impressions of that brush are better than the 22s ah i didn't know there was actually um only a subtle difference between the different types of series that's well there's a whole bunch of them right so and but the, yeah the 22 and 33 are pretty similar yeah these the, these feel slimmer and longer with a stick but keep a good belly i like it yeah so you know yeah. this to me what you're doing there I'm just wondering why you're doing that because that looks rough to me. So what what I'm doing there is I'm I'm feeling how the bristles are bending at the end because mm -hmm. that's something that when I pick up a brush for the first time, right after 24 hours or however long, and I'm trying to get it get the kind of the whole thing full of moisture again. That's the thing that I do to test whether it's kind of ready or not is to see is to is to do that bend right all the way down to the yeah, or a yeah, gentle yeah, bend okay. down gentle the end. Bend. I used to watch that when I was a kid. 
Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you've got a tame grizzly bear <laughs> right in the feral, then yeah, you're laughing. But yeah, you, there's definitely something different that I'm not doing, I think, in preparing this brush. I'll just let you know what I picked up on then. Yeah. Like when, when, when you were pressing it against the side of the, the cup, let's say, let's say my wrist was the feral. It looked like you, when you said you were, you were trying to see how the tip bends, it looked like you were placing the pressure on the back end of the brush. Yeah, so that's what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm testing how the back bends. Ah, I'm right, testing okay, the back right, bends. right, 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 right. Because yeah. that's the last bit to, to soften up as the moisture. Yeah, yeah, from yeah, the tip. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So like when, when you press the back, mm -hmm. the back will splay the brush more. Uh, and also because there's, there's no give in the back end because of the ferrule. It's also you get, um, it becomes a sharper kink in the bristles. Mm -hmm. So you're going to stress the bristles and the structure of the brush more when you, when you squeeze the back of it. I okay. would assume, I say I assume, um, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it has a... a, 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 a a long-term effect I, definitely when it's dry i reckon you, it'd have an effect yeah well yeah i will i'll try and not do that then yeah yeah next time i pick this brush up from dry uh and see see if i can get a more consistent behavior out of it yeah it's certainly just doing a couple of little edge highlights on this miniature that we got here yeah it feels different than it did when i was using it yesterday is it the same so. brush yes because <laughs> i've made it's, that mistake this is definitely the same brush this is the only brush i've been using for yeah, uh, I got a few weeks now what is it size one did you say this is size yeah. zero God. yeah Let's see they look almost the same size are they both 33s is one a 22 yeah, it's 22. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so the... Yeah, the 22 zero and the 33 get, one. Get this going. Yeah, comparing brushes when one's dry and one's... One's... Uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, so there we go. go yeah, we're just about to see those. So the the one on the left is a series twenty two zero, and the one on the right is a series thirty three one. I would absolutely looking at the brushes on the screen there because I'm I'm looking on another device right now. Looking at the brushes on the screen there, if you ask me which brush I'd just pick up, I'd grab the one on the right. This one. Yeah. Yeah. So the lag on the screen, the lag on the feed is uh, yeah. screwed with me there. Yeah, 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 yeah that one. Yeah. Right, yeah, it's, it it it's does a, look pretty good, doesn't it? It's a nice looking brush. Right? So it's got a richer colour, so that tells me it's probably going to be a little bit softer. Um, the other thing is, it's, 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 got a, it's got a larger belly it's, it's it's almost the same size it just looks a little bit longer and the belly looks longer with it so i reckon i could get good work out of that brush for um but for whatever i need really you know well then should we clean some brushes yeah let's clean some brushes um let's pop that away so i think this here is the ultimate challenge <laughs> shall we shall we save that till last well here's what i know uh -huh. this brush soap won't do the job so i say we demonstrate that brush soap not doing the job sounds like a good place to start yeah and then we see if this brush soap will do the job then we see if on credible <laughs> brush cleaner we'll see if that does the job which um rumor has it um it will we hope i hope anyway because i'd love to have this resurrected 
Yeah, um, well. I'll, I'll let I'll let you do the do. All right then. All right then. That's uh, given that I'm a move you out of the way. Uh, non brush cleany type guy. Yeah. So in fact, just just for for context, this brush isn't um, dirty because I'm dirty with it. It's old and dirty because it's at least fifteen years old. So context context it's not dirty because i don't clean brushes it's dirty because it's ancient yeah citadel masters small flat dry brush great brushes mm. i bet no one makes them anymore i actually had a look around um, local art shops in the windsor newton section because i, mm. I remember windsor newton selling um incredibly accurate if not the same brush equivalents um, and I could not find any anywhere. The only closest equivalent I could find was a, uh, a synthetic nylon brush, which I, I don't ever want for the uses I would have with that brush. Mm -hmm. I'll do it again. <laughs> uh, so, well, no, it's all right with that brush. Yeah. Because it's flat. Mm -hmm. Because the brush is flat, you, you, you're not crimping a circle. It's already oh, yeah. flat. Yeah. see what i mean yeah so let's get this nice and moist so i will caveat all this with saying that i've never really tried to use hard soap to wake up an old brush that needs help i've only really used this incredible brush cleaner so this stuff so i might not be able to do the best job with this but let's let's give it a go let's just try yeah. and get i some. just kind of massage it in yeah massage it in like this well there we go that's got i'm yeah. sure that soap will get stuff off because I, I i blatantly have used it in the past and then i kind of use it in my palmary hand I actually use a palmary hand to clean it oh really like that okay well, yeah, we've, well we've got I mean, a bunch of stuff to do so i'm going to start with this that doesn't look tissue. bad does it yeah let's have some tissue as well um and we're going to need another one of these silver things from down on the floor there next to the other chair So this is, as you can see, there's a bunch of coloured stuff coming out here. Is that the soap or is it stuff out of the brush? I don't really know because I haven't used this bar of soap before. That's a good there's question, definitely that, there is stuff some coming out. There, yeah. But whilst there's stuff coming off, I'll tell you what, let's, I'm going to rinse the brush and show you. Oh, that's the paint water, isn't it? We've got cleaning water over here, especially, never mind. <laughs> brush soap and paint water. Let's see what comes off in the cleaning water, eh? Yeah. Well, so, as you can see, there's some gunk in here. We don't know where it's come from, but if we have a look at the shape of this brush now, let's give it a little... Little go on the palette to at least try and coax it back into some kind of nice shape. That is not in a nice shape. No, to be expected. Yeah. Let's give it a bit of a, a welly. <laughs> yeah, not in a nice shape. Funny, I know. Look down straight down the end of a brush before that. I can feel it. I can feel all the paint in the back end of it. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so that's... this not only, in fact, I'll tell you now. Not only is this brush soap not removed it from the tips, it's also not removed it from the back end in the in the ferrule. So it's um, while it's removed something, it's not removed anything, any solid looking particulate, I would say. Definitely not. So yeah, it's discolored something, but that could be the old paint water and it could be just, well, yeah, maybe some real fine sediments out of that, but nothing, nothing that I, I care about. Do you think this, uh, so there's some textured color in the tip of this brush. Do you expect that to come out? I don't know. I don't know what my brush cleaner expectations actually are because, yeah. I mean, it's 
It's quite an old brush, isn't it's it? It's an so old brush, big... and uh, like I said, I don't really clean my brushes. Yeah. Okay, now, should we uh, should we try this stuff next? I think we should. Right, so this this is a little pot of soap from Artisopus. Do you know, I think I have some of that as the, well. So this, this came with my Series D brushes, but uh, I've always assumed that it's ju it's the same stuff that you get if you buy some brush soap from Artisopus. Mm. So let's work this in a bit. Try to do a similar sort of thing to what we did with the, the old Citadel brush soap. Ooh. Nothing yeah. things about. Uh, uh, I will do in a sec, yeah. So just give this a bit a more side by screen. side comparison. Yeah. So Kelly was using the artist Opus brush the other day for a blood bowl arcs and she was around getting on a bit in this artist Opus series one. Which so, actually looks like it could do with a clean at the back end as well. So I think we've now got a, a suitable subject. Okie dokie. Give that a clean as well. So this is also, we've got some, we've got some gunge coming out of this one as well. We've got some. All right. Bit of colour, um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I see what you mean about being able to feel it in the ferrule. Is yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely right up in there. widens after the ferrule, doesn't it? Yeah. And that's what's keeping the the brush in this splayed out state. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's use the cleaning water this time. Give this a bit of a dash around. So I would predict that. The there's a particle. There's a particle, know. right? So oh, holy pick that moly. Up. You see that? There's a little black speck in the bottom of this jar. I've got a question, Andy. Oh. Where's this from? Is Ooh. that from the first brush salt? Yeah. And is that a bristle? That does look like a bristle. I, um, yeah. Have we got any, any bristles stuck in here? It is a bristle, but the paint ain't coming off it. It's got paint cakes on it. Okay, well. So I'm sure not the intended purpose of brush soap to, <laughs> no. <laughs> to remove bristles. Um, but that is paint, that smaller thing. So the first brush soap actually has removed something. I'll put it back in just so yeah. we've got it for later. Yeah. Well, there's other things in there as well. Oh, there is. This was other bit of dry paint and stuff. Yeah. Oh, cheers, dude. I thought it was. Oh, it's there's a, there's a little hair. Yeah. Oh, the fact there's a few hairs there. These could have come from anywhere, couldn't they? Somebody, there we go. Yeah. There, there's some more particulates. Uh huh. All right. So it has removed some gunk. This brush is now the series twenty two is getting its own clean, as well. <laughs> And why not? Eh? Yeah. Now, this is where I've been wiping the brush. So over here was where I wiped the brush after the Citadel soap, and then here is where I wiped it after using the Art Silver soap. So there's a little bit more coming off. There's a little particle there, and there's a little particle there. Now, okay. This might not seem too consequential, but let's just see what happens with the uh, yeah. ultimate. Yeah, no, incredible. I mean I mean, what's it, the interesting thing is just as even though this is not a scientific um, demonstration in any way or comparison, I mean, the, what's stopping who? Uh, hang on a minute. If we'd have used this brush soap twice, would we have got the similar result anyway? Yeah, that's right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So this is this is definitely not a scientific experiment. Um, yeah, you can't really do that, right? You you can't have two brushes that are the same badness. Well, well, well. Let's find that. Well, let's find out because I do have four of those brushes. Oh, all right. I've never thrown one of them away. So the uh, so say something brief something about this Chroma brand incredible brush cleaner. Um, also sold under the brand Joe Sonja, J O S O N J A. Go and uh, go and look them up. Um, it's the same stuff in the pot. Bam. Oh, look at that! A little bit further in, Tommy. Okay. There we go. 
Right. The the grand comparison. I mean, miracles need to happen <laughs> to this one. Yeah, I mean that those need to go back in the uh, the pig or wherever the brushes yeah. came from. They need to be oh. grown a bit more. Oh, that's that's it's got a nice tip, shape. It? Yeah. You can plainly tell which ones I've been dry brushing with. <laughs> which is the, the the main thing I actually really like them for, and they're expensive brushes. You know, like nine, ten, eleven, twelve quid a brush, depending on where you, you sold them. Um, just to use them for dry brushing, but yeah, you can get like airbrush smooth blends. Uh, um, I could anyway. Is that did you that nice dreadnought that you show me? Yes. Was that was that one of these? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because that is those are super smooth. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, dreadnought from your space wolf army. Yeah. If if you Google my name T O M M I E S O U L E and the words Cormac Dodd. It should come up um, in, on some forums. <clears throat> or just the word Space Wolf Dreadnought. So we're getting a few little, little, little marks of paint coming off this brush here. Just going to keep Nothing scrubbing away. Nothing substantial? Nothing substantial yet, no. no. It's kind of good to know. Now, Go on. The little trick that I've been taught about using this particular stuff. So this sub obviously is a liquid rather than uh, a solid that you kind of dilute in some water. It's pretty oily. And the trick is to squeeze it down the bristles and into the ferrule. Okay. Now, because it's oily, you can apply quite a lot of pressure between your fingers and push and the bristles don't bend they just get shoved the, the soap just gets pressurized down into the ferrule and that's that's what's worked well on some of my brushes in the past how well it's going to work on this one we'll have to find out ah but now oh. i yeah i can so they, they're going to be kind of hard to see but there's one two three four five six little little lumps of paint so here's, yeah. here's a question then if we'd have if we'd have put that much effort into using these and the artist opus would we have got similar results well, maybe so we would we've got well, we two, can try. More, yeah. two more brushes and one miracle needed they're wet now soaking and getting ready to rock and roll okay Yeah, so that's another unscientific bit of this, is that, yeah, obviously I've done a lot more work on this brush. Let's just see what happens now on the paper, see if anything comes out. Aha! Wow. Oh, wow. Right, so okay. we got some red paint, which the, maybe there's a little hint of it over here, and maybe there's a little hint of it over here, but there's a lot of it up there. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's and considerable, that, really, isn't it? A lot of particles. But we have put considerably more physical effort in. Wow, look at that. We have put a lot of elbow grease in. So yeah, maybe maybe we should... Well, yeah, we will once we've had a bit more of a go with this. We'll put the same amount of elbow grease in with with uh, one of the solid soaps. This is exciting, isn't it? The suspense is doing me in. Because, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm out of my depth there. <laughs> you know, this is this is a learning experience, poor moi. And better than anything else you could watch on the telly on a Sunday night, isn't it? Yeah, all in the crafts, man. We got any questions or anything? No, no. Everyone's uh, just... everyone's just chilling and watching. Yeah, any questions? Hear about anything hobby related, obviously. It could be, how are you today? If it's not hobby related. Interesting.
Do you need more tissue? A little bit of clean area still left on this one. You know what, I think, I think some of this paint is actually coming off the ferrule. Yeah. With this brush, yeah, I think. I think That's a good thing, though. The ferrule down at that end is a lot shinier yeah. than it was. They still, Got, you yeah. still feel plenty of paint dried down in the yeah, 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 base yeah. of the bristles. Yeah. Um, so if, if I was Can clean, I yeah, 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 it's still got quite a lot of soap in it. You might yeah, give it a yeah, wash. Cool. That's all right. Go on, what were you going to say? So if I was, if if this was me cleaning this brush for me, I I would probably empty this out now and, and give it another go with some more, with an with some fresh, incredible brush cleaner, and keep going. Yeah. Do you know what though? Wow, it's still coming off. Um, it it looks better. It doesn't look ideal <laughs> in any way, shape, or form, but it definitely looks better than it was. Feels better than it was. Feels softer. Right. I use the word interesting a lot. Don't I? So the last thing that the I'll directions for this. Go on. Sorry, I, I was just saying. I'm just. Um, just giving a little bit of uh, grief to the end of the uh, the bristles. Just see if I can scrape some of the paint off with my nail. Yeah. And that appears to have. Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely yeah, got some, some stuff off. But again, stuff. you know, the big question is: is would it have happened with any of the other brush bands? Not that this is about a comparison. We just try to see what works and what doesn't, really, aren't we? Mm -hmm. It's just turned into a comparison. It's not a what you should or shouldn't buy video. Yeah. The bristles definitely feel softer and nicer. Well, so that's because they're covered in soap. So yeah, it does well, say I that the last stage, it. you're supposed to use slightly warm water. Okay. I don't know if that's going to make what exactly kind of difference that makes, but so it might be that they're feeling a bit nice because they've got oily soap on them. Yeah. Can't taste anything. It says, know. if swallowed, drink water, induce vomiting. So, sorry, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, given the uh, day I've had, might be happening anyway. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. There's still shit coming out of this. Yeah, I, th I think the work is not done on that brush. Um, oh, fascinating. Shall... I might just leave it to soak. Yeah. So I have all this. Bung a load more of that in. Just leave it. Somewhere. All right. Any questions from any bugger? Um, it's all cool, if not. No? Cool. Well, shall we switch back to one of the other soaps? Absolutely. And have a bit of harder work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one do you think we should use? Should we use the Artless Opus one, which is available for sale, or the Ancient Citadel one, which is not? Um, yes, is the answer. Yeah. Both, both of them. Right, which one should I use first? Yeah, let, let's let's give uh, the Artless Opus the first first uh, slug of the ball. Yeah. Now, since with the last brush it looked like we were getting a lot off the ferrule, let's have a look at the ferrule here. So. A little bit of dried paint around there. A lot of this side is actually kind of clean. There's a big, there's some gunge there in the, in that kind of fold in the metal. There's a load of paint on there. That's a kind of ready, ready brown. And there's some more ready brown there. Mm. So if we get some ready brown off here, maybe it's come from the ferrule. Well, the thing the is, if, if if the soap is removing paint off the ferrule, that's a good thing, because sure. the paint isn't designed to come off just with soap and cold water. You need hot water to remove acrylic paint from a shiny, non-porous, impermeable, that's the word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Impermeable surface, like a ceramic tile, for example. You just, just hot water on a ceramic tile if you've got um, um, acrylic paint on it. Acrylic paint will just fall off. 
so if it, with cold water and soap it's pulling off the, that chrome ferrule then that's a good thing mm -hmm. yeah i was gonna say a second ago there's a craft knife there next so you could just clean the ferrule and rule it out you know clean it with a craft knife and then we don't have to, oh yeah we don't have to get mixed up but at the same time if the salt's removing it it's got to be removing it in a it's a good thing yeah yeah it's doing the work and also we get a bit more of a little bit more of a direct comparison between the two it's a yeah best effort yeah. approximation to the scientific method <laughs> so it's, it's not at all we're just mucking around cleaning some brushes yeah <laughs> mank 951 um, asks would you use brush soap after every session um so you've probably heard me say multiple times in this live stream and, and probably in others as well um i very rarely clean my brushes with brush cleaner just water reshape them bang the lid on or not and uh they sit on my desk and that's just that and you know i have brushes that last a long 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 time and in the case of that one rosemary and co it's lasted a couple of weeks and i got frustrated with it and snapped it i didn't snap it because i got frustrated with it i snapped it because really i got frustrated with myself because i kept choosing it so i ruled it out of my collection so yeah i don't really i don't really care um i don't clean my brushes with brush soap after every session either um i i do use this Jasonius. uh this oh yeah yeah I, no i did mention Jasonius. i do use the incredible brush cleaner on brushes which have got a bit of stuff stuck in the ferrule and the, they aren't forming a nice tip anymore but it's as i'm becoming more careful with my painting and the not getting paint into the ferrule of my brushes as much as i did i find that i have to do that less and less yeah so people think good brush care is about putting the lid on good brush care is about using brush soap and conditioners and blah 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 now i just think good brush care is washing your brush all the time when you're using it every every couple of seconds you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. every, every every couple of brush strokes, I'm washing my brush, washing my brush, washing my brush. Obviously, unless I'm dry brushing, but all the time I'm washing my brush, resetting my consistency, resetting my brush, washing my brush. It's 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 the way it is. Um, and I reckon you'll get better results um, more of the time if you did that, as opposed to not do that. And then. It is oily, this, isn't it? Wow. It is, yeah, really oily. So, now, go on. That's a good point to bring up. So, uh, if you're watching what I'm doing here on the stream, you would have seen me try to do the, the trick that I did with the other paint of squeeze paint down into the ferrule. Sorry, squeeze soap or soapy water in this case down into the ferrule. And because this paint isn't doesn't have oil in it, that's much harder to do when I try and force. The bristles down between my fingers that I'm pressing hardish with my firm pressure really doesn't want to move. Um, so that's that's going to mean that a little bit less soap gets into the ferrule and a little bit less pressure gets applied to the dried paint that's in there. So here's an update. Yeah. <clears throat> that after leaving it to soak for a bit in the incredible brush cleaner that's how much came off after after one pull of the brush so i just basically put put the brush in folded it over pulled it once mm. and that's what came out after leaving it to soak for a bit so that that's a lot more like the kind of results that i was expecting and that's what you see if you've got yeah. if you've got a normal you know a little pointy brush your, your number mm. one or whatever you get lumps of paint coming out like that so is is an observation i'm gonna get um i'm gonna ask a question you see these here there it's all what's this term horizontal vertical they're in line with the ferrule of the brush mm -hmm. when i snapped it out does that mean it's come off the ferrule again they're not in they're not in line with the bristles of the brush 
Can you see that? Yeah. The yeah. ferrule do definitely it does look like it's getting cleaner and cleaner. <laughs> yeah. But that so that being soft. That paint though those lines I might not have come off the metal of the ferrule, they might have come off the the bit of the bristles, the base of the bristles, right? Yeah, Where the bristles yeah, meet the yeah, ferrule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a little little line of paint gets gathered there. Um Yes it does, because it does on the other ones. On Yeah, you some of right. There's paint coming off this brush in all places. It literally oh, yeah. is, yeah. Oh yeah, it's flaking off the, off the, the metal of the ferrule. And the bristles. No, no, right? it's yeah. coming off the bristles. Oh great. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. So that's just come off the bristles. Yeah. If you can see that. Yeah. Um can you pass my brush wrap thing with on? Yeah. This is fascinating. I mean, I don't know how exciting it is for everybody at home, but <laughs> I'm resurrecting old brushes and learning that there is a product out there that does something. Because even at the very least, right, I can tell you this now, even if this brush doesn't get clean, the bristles feel so much softer. Because I felt this brush now, it's add oil in it and now i felt it after i've cleaned it and it definitely i know what i know what the oily brush feels like now um the bristles feel lovely good yeah I agree. so this this other brush has i've been working this in the uh art soap, soap for a little while now so let's just try and give this a scrape on the paper and see what comes off oh so we do get there are some little particles of paint are coming out there oh, oh that's quite a lot isn't it? yeah they look more promising as well because they're in line with the bristles more as well don't they yep yeah but but that's where yeah that's that's everything just maybe give it a bit of water See if we can get anything more out. Oh yeah, there's more, more bit of dried paint coming out there. Well, I think I might be mind blown there. So it's, de it's definitely not give the, the brush its old shape and form back. That's all. I mean, what if I left it overnight? I don't know. And it's not cleaned out the ferrule, but it, it looks better than it did. What do you think of this? Uh, hang on, which one? <laughs> which one have I just been cleaning? <laughs> Hard to tell. I think this one. Hard to tell. Oh no, yeah, it's that one. It is that one. No, oh, because it's got a cleaner ferrule on it. Yeah, yeah. And it's got a well, so what do you think of that one? So that's been cleaned heavily with uh with solid brush soap. No, I didn't have a good look at it beforehand. Still it feels nice, doesn't it? But it's hard to tell now because I've got all that oil on my fingers. As yeah, much. yeah. <laughs> yep, non scientific brush cleaning. Non scientific oh. brush cleaning. Um, it's, it's not fair to compare brushes either, is it? Um, I mean, if that stuff has come out of it, so it's definitely done the job. It's, it's as simple as that. Some really. stuff has come out, yeah. Some stuff is out. So yeah. you find out how much more stuff comes out with the oil because it's not. Because it's not right. in it. <laughs> yeah. All right, go on then. So here's another paintbrush. Here's a paintbrush that might look familiar. This black stuff at the very base of the ferrule is definitely, that's in the bristles. That's paint dried in the bristles, making the brush flare open. So I'm going to see how we get on with this and the uh, ultimate, you know, incredible brush cleaner. Because I've had brushes like this before, where this has all come out, and this brush ends up looking right. like this brush. Right. So let's let's try that. Let's Game on. Another one of my little pots. So I'm 
just get it. I'm definitely interested to see this happen. Definitely. Then I will go, yes, incredible. <laughs> I'm literally soaking all my flat dry brushes now in this area. <laughs> just to see. Again, not not because I think it's better, just because it's next to me. Because <laughs> we've, we've got good results with both brush soaps. We have. I think, I think yeah, we have. yeah, yeah, we have. And we've got soft results. Like, I like the feel of both brushes afterwards. Mm hmm Apologies, this particular pie case is noisier than the other two pie cases. <laughs> that, uh, I've just been trying to clean brushes in. Quite a lot noisier. Send them back. <laughs> Take them back to Wilco's, get me 49p yeah. back. Wilco's, yeah. your pie cases are noisier inconsistently yeah. throughout the pack. There's one thing that's important to me when I'm buying cheap disposable pie cases, it is acoustic consistency. Tombra is the term. <laughs> Tombra. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm only gonna buy pie cases from Zildjian now on. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone got out to say? No. I think people are just uh, chilling and enjoying watching our video. What did everybody think of the last video? Did everybody go and watch it? Um, obviously, I'll put it live on YouTube if you missed the live stream, which is what we do, by the way. Ooh, Andy, Andy, Andy. This old busted one. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm starting to get this sandy colour out of it. Oh, now, yeah. here's what I know. This brush had bleach bone. Ah. As it's, as it's dry brush colour. Right, right. Right, that's the result, because that is only one, because it's not particles, you know, it's not chunks, it's it's blatantly, be, something's been dissolved. Yeah, yeah. Right, so big question is, is, would that happen with other brushes, other brush soaps? Other oh, brush soaps, hmm. It's getting darker as well significantly so so bear in mind right andy that the mix i'm using now is the same mix that we've just done two or three other brushes in mm -hmm. and i haven't noticed the difference whereas now i am noticing a difference yeah considerably so yeah and that is definitely do you want to put it on the camera it's definitely a different color yeah Oops. from what is unfortunately the most yeah. old and yeah. busted and least useful of the brushes i was trying to rescue so yeah so this stuff here is definitely so you, Hopefully you can see that around here, the stuff is still a little bit pinky red and the stuff in the middle where Tommy's been working is, is bleach bone. Obviously it's bleach bone. It's not pinky red. It's definitely a yeah, different colour. Yeah, bleach bone. Because that was when I was using the brush, the old paints didn't exist. The new paint so didn't exist. And I'm going to tell you this as well. This brush was pretty much a solid lump of paint. It's not anymore. Great. Wow, this is me now for the knife. Clicking away with the beautiful Tombra. <laughs> oh, oh, it's 49p. Got a little, uh, mm -hmm. got a message there. Have we? What's that? Hey, you spent a small fortune on Broken Toad because of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure Chris will be very happy. Um, so, Lynn, just um, a heads up, while I've not been using the synthetic brushes, if you're ever going to be, you oh wow, look at that. Oh if, yeah. If you're ever going to be using the synthetic brushes, try, try, always use them with a brush stroke that is in line with the bristles. Yeah, so what I mean is this way, whether it's on the palette, only ever use a brush stroke in um in that direction whether it be in your preparation whether it be in your um application whatever it is try not to do sideways strokes and up strokes sorry andy i don't want to butt in on you but uh, no, that's right. i figured that was because um again i haven't 
tested the Broken Toad synthetics fully. Yeah, and while the synthetics are cheaper than, than, than Sable Hair, why well, I haven't tested them fully, synthetics are prone to curl at the end. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I would, um, I would, uh, I'd want you to get your money's worth out, out of those brushes. So I'd always use them in a, a straight linear way. This yeah. looks great. So it's, to, to be fair to Chris, it's probably worth reiterating that there's a load of lovely instructions that come with your nice set of uh, Broken Toad Sable or Fugazi brushes that say things like don't use your nice brush to mix your paint on your palette yep. and how to how to leave it, how to clean it and leave it when you've finished using it. And that's that is the kind of thing they suggest that you should do. Also, I was having a look through some of Broken Toad's, uh, I think I saw this on Instagram. They, when people were asking about the Fugazi brushes and bending at the tips, they do acknowledge that that's what synthetic brushes do. And there's some advice on their website. On, Is it hot water? On to do. I didn't go and look. All oh, right. Place. So, so I, I thought you were going to, um, I thought you were going to say that then, because that was what I've heard on the internet. Is if you if you put them under hot water, they straighten out again. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm yet to try that. Yeah, it does. Um, so with other synthetic brushes, I have. I've tried that and it's worked. Okay. Um, but it, it's a temporary fix, right? So it, you know, it's not. You don't put them in some hot water and then they're straight forever. You'll get you'll get about the same amount of work out of them every time before yeah, yeah, the brushes yeah. stop. The, the as long as it's that simple and easy fix, then it's no. It's, it's all of a sudden the idea of synthetic brushes appeals more to me because well, that's a simple thing to do, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's not yeah. not tremendously hard work. <laughs> you can if you're a. If you're a resin modeler, you can do it at the same time that you're yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, straightening yeah, out yeah. your wonky resin bits. Um, broken toad resin's never wonky. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. This. So this old. What have we got here? Rosemary and Co. Number One Series Twenty Two. Yeah. With a load of paint clagged in the ferrule, has had a good run in the incredible brush cleaner now so let's get this on a nice clean bit of paper towel and let's see what happens when i try and wipe that clean get a f couple of nice big claggy lumps of paint oh look you can kind of see can you see on instagram where it's come out so yeah you can't quite see but i can see that just there just yeah that there, little... there's a little notch in the paint in the ferrule. All oh, right, okay. I'll a chink in the thing. armor. Let's. You're not talking about the grain on the on the the left hand side of the screen, are you? you you're actually talking about the. There's now a little niche where that grain's come out of. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it looks pretty apparent on the on the other screen. Oh, this is exciting <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we'll be watching paint dry and cheery next, won't we? <laughs> Like any and every hobbyist hasn't already done that in some instances. <laughs> and I'll see the blend that I did on this guy last week and with them some tear brushes. It was pretty good. There's a little watermark on it, but it wasn't anything to do with the brush of the paint. It was maybe in a spanner. Um, but yeah, pretty good blend that. So if you want to see how I blend, go back and watch that video. And um, because it's blatantly in there. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty pretty fast as well. I, I, like I. I don't. I haven't watched you paint a lot, Tommy. But like, I have seen you do blends. Maybe it's when you teach them you move more slowly. But that that was real fast. Yeah. <coughs> Cheers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just. I mean, good painting shouldn't take long. I mean, good painting also takes an extraordinary amount of time because that that leg I did, you know, that's about four hours work <laughs> on that on that guy there. You know, but there you go. Right, 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 right. So, let's see what happens now. There it is. That's what I've been looking oh, for. Oh, dude. Look at that. Holy shit. That ring of paint has just come out of the ferrule. And as I turn the brush around. Right. Get see on that. the whole brushes. The artist opus needs that test. You can see that the base of the bristles is now completely, almost completely free of dry paint. 
How's, how's the rest of it looking? Wow. Else to come out? Not really much else. Wow. There's a tiny, tiny little bit left in the ferrule. So I'm just going to work at it a little bit longer. Games Workshop, large brush, metallic, all in the ferrule. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Ugh. Oh, I'll tell you what. Andy. All... <laughs> Mate, we're not <laughs> doing this all night. I've like, literally I've, I've got getting all my out now. <laughs> yeah, well, the way I'm looking at it is if it just needs soaking, then that's, that's enough. I think that would be an interesting experiment, actually, because the met this is the method I've been taught, right, is, is yeah, to work yeah, them yeah. like this. So, yeah, try... Try soaking them. Who taught you these esoteric secrets? Uh, I've said his name before. Marco Frizzoni has a uh, YouTube channel called Not Just Mecca. Okay. NJM. Uh, he's he's got all sorts of stuff that he talks about, but he's got a video which is called something like Brush Care or something like that, okay. where he talks about this soap and shows this method for doing this and, and probably he, he might even show this uh this exact thing i think uh, this is maybe the first place i saw one of those or maybe he doesn't treat his brushes quite so badly as as i used to right and uh maybe i did one of those first right i think i think i'm finished with that one big ones are coming out now honestly if it can clean one of these i'll probably be amazed so basically i've just got me a big large dry brush which is generally there I reckon I've not got a good one and I will prove that by showing you not one <laughs> good one damn <laughs> there is others trust me they're also not good ones oh that's not bad one. but there you go so but I'm doing this one that's blatantly caked in space wolf colors so if by the end of today it's not caked in space wolf colors I'll be amazed um, and I'm going to have a go on this one. Oh, dude. So where did we get this mystical elixir from? <laughs> um, I, I can't remember exactly. Uh, well, having said that, we might just get great results out of this Iris Opus stuff, in which case, cool, because I think I've got some somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that might, might be just as good. Um, so, Mank951... Uh, Glenn says, so you should wash your brush for about five to ten minutes per brush. Are we really doing it for five to ten minutes? Uh, I've but... been washing this brush for a long time. Uh, yeah, like, right, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, when when you've got a brush that's got paint caked up in the ferrule, it's gonna take a little while to clean it out. Because let's face it, unless you're super cat handed or four years old, it's taking you a long time to get it in there. Right, that's that's lots and lots of little deposits of paint over weeks or months or years. Yeah, agreed. And and it's hard and it's set and you know the paint is designed not to come out. So yeah, you do need to give it a little bit of spend a bit of time working at it. But the so you remember what this this brush looked like before? Here's a so yeah, here's is the rosemary and co brushes that we were looking at before so i earlier on i showed you these two brushes next to each other and this one come on focus had paint caked up in the ferrule whereas right now that looks like a pretty good brush yeah man. it's it's got some problems it's been used it's a little worn but this brush which I've been using carefully for some uh, yeah, few months now. Yeah, in fact, yeah, this has probably been a year or so since this has been cleaned and I've been more careful. And this one, they look pretty similar. So yeah, those, those 10 minutes of work can turn a brush that's full of caked up paint and you probably don't want to use anymore, you might be thinking about replacing, into a brush that you can use for another. All right year or so Andy I wish I'd done this on camera because look at the flex in that that was fully stiff in fact let's find a 
We got a comparable one. We got a comparable one. I'm not looking at. I did kind of choose the worst one. Let's say that's a comparable one. Yeah. Okay. In, in fact, that's just a perfect specimen of a fucked brush. Yeah, like these. these Flex on that. Huh? This is solid. Like the, the tips feel spiky as I'm pointing them into my finger. Right. This is. This is like, you know, a really bristly dog. Dead terrier is always what I have to a say. Dead terrier. Say to people. Whereas this one, oh yeah, bristles on this, silky smooth. That that feels like a paintbrush. Again. Not a dead terrier. So, so yeah, so that's that's been cleaned in there. It's kind of grey and gungy. Yeah, besides like space was grey, and uh, not space was grey, the fine shadow grey probably from the time I had that. Yeah. Wow. Um, I'm conscious that the uh, incredible brush cleaner is stealing the show here, mainly because we're using it more, not because um, yeah, it's opus one isn't performing. So that's true. We are using it more. So should we have another go with? Yeah. Should give you that sort of stuff a fair yeah, crack I'll, of the whip. I'll give it a quick. There we go. Right. Do you want to jump on camera? Yeah, I might. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll happily dive back on. Here we go. Right. This is like, I thought this would be a quick video, you know. <laughs> yeah, I never told you that you have to sit and scrub the brush in the soap for 10 minutes. Well, I mean, I don't mind. It's, it's, actually, it's actually quite uh, eye-opening and, dare I say, entertaining for me anyway, so. Another thing, so to... what have we got? I, I don't know what brushes are in what now. Oh, almost everything is in uh, is, is in the incredible brush cleaner. So, okay, um, if yeah, okay. I think that that's how it's opus, and this isn't this is dry, so yeah, all right. So, yeah, that's that's the one. So, the brush that Tommy's just picked up is the one that I was just poking into my finger and said, Feels ah, like this it. one, right? So, we'll, we'll stick with this Terrier. one. So I've just wet it. I'm going to wet the brush up with just water as much as I can. <clears throat> Mike951 says, try a little tenderness <laughs> in a musical sense. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so this is flexing up with water as, as it is. It's nothing, no dirt's coming out of it though. Let's get some of that. There we go. All right. Let's smoosh you in there. So, if I'm right in me thinking, because that's an oil, it's going to have like degenerative properties on thing on plastic products anyway i assume certain plastic products of which acrylic is a certain plastic product yeah um the artist opus brush is blatantly taking this sorry the artist opus brush soap is blatantly taking out some of the blue in this look at that mate oh yeah that's gone blue straight away yeah that's quick and all yeah i might be sold on brush soap It's going to rescue some of these old things. Because I like these brushes. They're like part synthetic, part sable, part junk kind of hair. Um, but they were all right. They were, basically, when when this version of the large dry brush came out, and they did a, a smaller version as well, they were basically a, a, a shitter version of these. Because these came in this size as well, and they were excellent. These are the these are the lower standard ones, and these were the higher standard ones. So when the if you can find any of these with a blue handle, blue in this style handle, that kind of remind me of the broken toe handles. Yeah, same nice different color. Yeah, it's a different color wood, but it's still just a nice piece of wood. Wow, there's a lot coming out of that. 
really nice as well. Should we uh, should we should we tissue it? Yeah. Yeah, this, I'll and use this. A, yeah, it's a clean bit. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's Definitely significant. That well done, Artis Opus. Well done, dudes. Oh. Right. Well, I think I'm just going to leave that to soak. Yeah. Right. Well, well, there, there, <laughs> there. All that is. Yeah. There's lots of lots of stuff on washing brushes yeah you know, i think that's I, we can leave that there can't we it's just food for thought you know if people want to try it go it go and try it <laughs> yeah. sit here trying it all for everybody we've done a good range of brushes there as well yeah we have we've done some really 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 knackered brushes we've done some kind of slightly knackered brushes and yeah seems to have helped all so, of them i'll tell you what we didn't do you know, like with the with what, like the size one here, just like a standard type paintbrush thing. We didn't get one that was unusable because we don't have one that's unusable. Mm -hmm. And see if the cleaning of it makes it then usable again. That's uh, a good point. That is a good point. So, yeah. um, but yeah. so what? I well, don't. Care, I've got enough brushes that I don't care if it becomes unusable. Like I said, you know, just snap it in the bin. You go. Yeah, and I, I don't have any like that either, I don't think. Uh, Dude, that was educational. Let's turn us around. Right. Hey! Back to smiling faces. There he is. Cool. What did you guys think? Did anybody think anything in the comments? Uh, I haven't had anything, nothing else yet, but yeah, do do let us know what you think. Um, if you've got any questions, fire away, like Tommy said, on any anything to do with the hobby, mm -hmm. if you like. Yeah, yeah. And, and in fact, give us some suggestions on what you want us to dig into next. Because um, mm -hmm. I, I, I've got some ideas flying around my head. The biggest one is, I'm thinking of taking this every week, or at least whichever weeks we do it, um, to YouTube. And we're going to do it live on YouTube instead. Mm -hmm. It's just more practical for us, um, and it's no real more effort for you guys. So, so sure. yeah, come and join us on YouTube instead, um, and I think it will be much better for everybody. I think the chat feed will be a lot snappier and all. Um, yeah, and it'll be easier for us to get at as well, because we won't have to sit here with another phone looking at. Uh, the messages as they come in or try to read the messages sideways yeah them. and same for you as well actually it's yes. just it's just better for, for everybody so um yeah let us know what you want us to do um i was actually thinking um of talking about curse city Ooh, dare i do it <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i was yeah. thinking about giving a, a a painter's view on the on on the box itself and um I'm not just talking about the models, I'm talking about the game, I'm going to talk about the art, I'm going to talk about the, the box set. Mm. You know, yeah. obviously the models are going to get a, a, a good looking at. Yeah. Um, I have, I've only had a quick skim of the box from when I bought it. Um, I might even pull out Shadows of the Hammer Hall as well. We do a Warmer, Age of Sigma Warmer Quest video or something like that. A Warhammer Quest off. Yeah, well, why not, <laughs> eh? Yeah. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think, and I'll happily get get stuck in there. Everything, new dragons, new dragons, new, new dragons, new dragons, new dragons from Games Workshop. How long has this gone on, by the way? How many? Uh, I don't know. We're nearly on two hours. It's five to ten. No, it was about half past eight when we started, so I guess it's an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Big videos these, aren't they? <laughs> oh yes. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna get so many people. Sitting watching YouTube for an hour and a half watching us. Clean paintbrushes. <coughs> new Dragons, Game Workshop. Yeah. Well, to dragons. be honest, 
yeah, show off some new dragons. But anybody who listens to this, I consider this more of a podcast and something to listen to when you're painting. Um, I'm not bothered about doing snappy little entertainment videos. I want proper content for you to actually use. Um, but yeah, new dragons. Or actual dragons. I won't even say new dragons. Actual dragons. That don't yeah. look like toys. Yeah, don't look like a, a snake doing dragon cosplay. Yeah. 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 Although God, I did love those old Citadel dragons, but yeah. these things look like dragons. Look like dragons. Yeah. They've still got a bit of armor on them, which I think cheapens them a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's more of a uniform. Maybe Sigma, you know, just kind of push them around <laughs> a little bit. So it's like, look, how, how are we going to know that yeah. you're our dragons? Name badges. Everyone else, <laughs> everyone else has got fancy armor. Yeah, yeah. How about this hat with a big plume on? Dragon said, "No." Nah. No. Don't, don't be ridiculous. Sorry. I already got wings. Yeah, if I burp fire, that thing. Yeah. That's right. Well, it's got to be shoulder pads then. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, should we call it there? Has anybody said out? A little bit. Uh, so, yeah, Nidlife Crisis says YouTube sounds good, Tommy. Uh, Mike951 says food for thought about how to maintain my broken toe brushes. Glad we've given um... you that. Watch this space, I think, for the broken toad thing. Um, yeah, we'll see, eh? Uh, but yeah, good yeah. idea, Glenn. Good idea indeed. Um, how to maintain them. I mean, you might notice... Right there are my broken toad brushes. Standing up in the box like uh, dead bodies in a coffin propped up. Um, that's where mine are. I treat them the same as all my other brushes and they, in fact, I can't really comment on how long the Mark III is going to last because I haven't really used them. I haven't put them through any paces that require um, me to think about looking after them yet. You know, like I said, I'll, I'll use any other brush before my broken toed brush if it's doing the job. And I always save my broken toed brushes for best and when nothing else will do it you know so so they're they're for me they're not a staple which is which really says how much i actually like them yeah it's, it's as simple as that um at the end of the day the top end brushes in my opinion on all the brushes i've tried so far and i've tried a, a, a number of different brands even outside of the ones we've tried in these in these live streams and the broken toe ones are the best and like you said luxurious is it that's the difference it's not that it's not that the others are worse i am saying that aren't i it's not that the others are bad yeah but the broken toe ones are more luxurious they, they're just better and that's just that so um top end brushes are expensive mm -hmm. so you know i don't for every day yet uh, beta work as in beta um climate yeah. climate jargon there, <laughs> or whatever else game development jargon as well yeah um yeah uh yeah i i use other brushes until they're not good enough and i don't just mean they're battered i mean actually i cannot rely on this level of brush i need some of that you know, so if I was going to go, right, got to go and win a Slayer Sword, which I probably will never do, by the way. Not not never win a Slayer Sword, but never go like, Rah, you know, get that in the head. I just mm. want to paint for the love now of it, and that's just that. But if I was to say I need the best, no mistakes, then, yeah, I'd start off, I'd start off with a broken sword. Right. And again, I'm not paid by that guy. I'm not sponsored by that guy. And... Uh, I used to say that because I mean it. So yeah, there you go. Hoo-yah! Good stuff. Over and out. Yeah. Anything else to say? Nope. Soap. <laughs> yeah, soap. If you've got dirty brushes, clean them with soap. They'll get cleaner. It'll take you a little while. But it'll save you spending money on new brushes. There you go. Surprised at that. Surprised at that indeed. So, yeah. See you later, guys.
Bye.